This video will show you how to apply the rules of Boolean simplification introduced in the previous video. So this video explores practical examples of simplifying Boolean expressions using the various laws and rules we covered in the previous video. If you've not yet seen it, please go back and watch that first. So let's work through an example of simplifying this Boolean expression. We have a and b, or a and b or c, or b and b or c. We can break the expression up into separate terms, and we've done so with the OR symbols. Also, with the rule of commutation, we can rearrange the terms in any way without affecting the meaning of the overall expression. This is often the first visual step you might need to perform. It can be easier for us then to spot possible ways of simplifying the expression further. Step one. We're going to use distribution on the second and third terms to multiply or factor out the expression. This allows us to remove the bracket. Now it appears we've made the expression longer. However, having removed the brackets, it's often easier to simplify further. Step two. Now we can apply one of our general AND rules to the fourth term x and x equals x. This is known as indempotent rule, although you don't need to know this for the exam. We can apply the indempotent rule again, this time in its OR version. We can see that a and b or a and b can simply be fired down to a and b. Step four, if we imagine placing brackets around the fourth term B and C, we now see we can apply the OR absorption rule. A or A and B is the same as A. So we've got B or B and C is the same as B. Remember, in order to apply absorption rule, we need to meet two conditions. The operator inside and outside the brackets must be different. Well, they are, it's an OR and an AND. And the term outside the brackets, that's a B, must also be inside the brackets. Well, it is. Step five. If we imagine placing brackets around the first term, A and B, we can apply the absorption OR rule again. We can reorganize terms separated by OR symbols however we like. And we can see here we have another situation where we can simplify B or A and B down to just B. We've been able to simplify this expression to B or A and C. Once again, when we look at the logic diagram, it is clear to see why we need to simplify Boolean expressions. The second version would be a lot easier and cheaper to produce if implemented as a physical circuit made with electronic components. Let's work through an example of simplifying the Boolean expression A or not A and B. Just as before, we can break the expression up into separate terms with the OR symbol. Commutation then allows us to rearrange the terms without affecting the meaning of the expression thus sometimes helping us spot further simplifications. Step one, it may look like we can't easily simplify this expression, but we can use the rule of distribution to multiply or factor out the expressions. So we apply distribution to the first and second terms. We've made the expression longer, but it's now easier to spot other ways to simplify it further. With step two, we can now apply one of our general all rules to the first term. X or not X 
is equal to 1. We've got a or not a. This is known as the complement rule. Step 3. Now we can apply one of our general AND rules to the first and second terms, which is x and 1 equals x. Finally, in step 4, we can remove the necessary brackets. We've been able to simplify this expression to a or b. And this is the simplest an expression can be using only two terms. Once again, if we draw out the logic diagrams for these expressions, we can see the first version requires three gates, whereas the simplified version only requires one. OK, let's try another example now. Let's try simplifying a and a or not a or not b. Again, we break the expression up into separate terms. We've separated the term outside the brackets from the rest with the AND symbol. Commutation allows us to rearrange the terms without affecting the meaning of the overall expression as always. We can also separate the expression inside the outer brackets with the OR symbol. As long as we arrange the term inside the outer brackets, the rule of commutation still applies and won't affect the expression's overall meaning. Step 1. We see that we can apply one of our general rules to the second term. This is the complement rule. Step 2. Now we can apply another of our general rules to the second term. This is known as the annulment rule. Remember, anything ORD with a 1 must be a 1. So although the rule presented here states x or 1 is equivalent to 1, our expression still matches fine. 1 or not b must equal 1. Finally, we can apply one of our general AND rules to the first and second terms, the identity rule, remembering that x and 1 must equal whatever the value of x is. So if x is 1, then x and 1 will be 1, and if x is 0, then x and 1 will be 0. Well, here we have a and 1, so the simplification is a. So look, we've been able to simplify this expression to just a. We're claiming the original logic diagram with its arrangements of gates is essentially useless, as the output is always the same as whatever the input to a is. And we can prove this by working through the truth table. OK, so let's work through one final example of simplifying a Boolean expression. Here we have the expression a and b or not not a and not c. So as always, we can break the expression up into separate terms. So we've separated the terms outside the brackets from the rest with the OR symbol. So our first step here is to apply De Morgan's law to the right hand term, the second term. And this has the effect of splitting the right hand term out around the AND into two separate simpler terms with an OR. Now that we've done that, it becomes very easy to spot instances in terms two and terms three where we can apply double negation to further simplify. Remember, double negation states that two consecutive knots cancel each other out. Finally, we can spot now that we can apply the OR absorption rule to term 1 and 2. Now remember, in order to apply the absorption rule, the following conditions must be met. First of all, the operators inside and outside the brackets must be different. 
well that's okay inside in turn one we've got an and symbol and outside between turn one and two we've got an or so the r and also the term outside the brackets must also be inside well it is we have both an a inside and outside the brackets so we can use absorption to reduce terms one and two down to a and we end up with our simplified expression a or c Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What are the rules for simplifying Boolean expressions? So technically, that's everything you need to know from the specification. We did reference some of our general rules with other names, and we're just going to go over that quickly now. So on the screen here is the official laws and rules listed in the OCR specification at the top. So they're the ones that will appear in the exam and they're the names the exam board will use. But we've gone over a number of other rules, including absorption, and a number of what we called general and or all rules. Now they have official names in Boolean algebra and simplification. And because they might crop up in other textbooks, or you might see them at other videos, or if you go on to studies at university, you'll certainly need to know them, we've included them here so you can get a fuller understanding. So just before we end this video, we want to make you aware of our freely available Boolean Algebra Cheat Sheet. This is a double sided cheat sheet that comes in A4 or A3 version, which can be used as posters. And it covers all the information on Boolean Algebra, the various logic gates, truth tables, definitions, and a lot more material we'll be going over in future videos, all in one handy double sided sheet. You can find this over at student.craigandave.org. Just scroll down to where it says A-Level Revision. If you select that, you will see OCR A-Level Revision, including a whole bunch of free resources, including these cheat sheets. You can click download, no subscription or logins required, and you'll get access to this cheat sheet.